And now to coronavirus and more harsh reminders tonight that we must all buy in and commit to social distancing. More than 1,700 cases have now been reported in Colorado across 42 counties. 31 people have died, more than 200 hospitalized. Nearly 650 cases have been reported over just the last two days. Governor Polis has repeatedly said the real total case number is likely in the thousands. And today he added it will take some time before we see the effects of social distancing in the data. The unemployment numbers, they're equally alarming. The Labor Department tells us we are on track to see 75,000 claims filed this week alone. Typically, it takes up to six weeks for money to start coming in. The state is trying to cut that down to 10 to 14 days. Now, 14 state Republican lawmakers are calling out Governor Polis tonight over that stay-at-home order. They're upset they weren't consulted before he made the call. They also don't understand why rural areas that aren't reporting high numbers have to be included. Contact 7 Chief Investigator Tony Kowaleski hearing from the governor tonight. And Tony, he made it pretty clear today why the entire state is under this order. Well, yeah, and you heard what Governor Polis said at the top of our broadcast, basically saying the argument Republicans are making is flat out stupid. He is owning his decision for the statewide decision because he doesn't want people from one infected county to go to counties where there are fewer people infected. So he stands behind it, essentially not buying what the Republicans are selling. What he is buying is data, and he spent about an hour today informing everybody in Colorado about the data that has led to all of his decisions. When we are successful, we will be able to resume normal activities. Using charts and graphs and data, Colorado's governor gave the state a behind the scenes look at the foundation of his decisions during the past three weeks. I encourage um, everybody to look at the data and science first to act responsibly in this crisis. Everybody wants to get through this disruption as quickly as we can. The governor's latest data analysis shows the state's demand for ICU hospital beds will continue to grow. He believes the state will need to add 1,000 beds by May and 5,000 ICU beds by this summer. All of the money for beds and ventilators is trivial compared to the economic cost of shutting down our state for even a day. I mean, we are a productive state, hundreds of millions of dollars in economic activity every day. This is a rounding error. If all of these beds and ventilators and everything we're doing helps us open up one day or two days earlier, it more than pays for itself. Colorado's governor continued to focus everybody on the need for social distancing. What success means is our hospital system has the capacity at the point in time needed to treat patients and save lives. It means we don't have a catastrophic breach of our healthcare system, bodies lining up, unable to access beds or healthcare and dying. The governor clearly getting animated at that news briefing this afternoon. One other critical point for you, several people calling our Denver 7 newsroom and other outlets throughout the state concerned that employers are not following the social distancing requirements and some employers not allowing employees to work from home. The governor said this is a statewide order. It is law. If people, if employees see it, they're advised to call local law enforcement and call the attorney general. He's serious about the social distancing order throughout our state. Reporting live at the state's emergency operations center in Centennial, I'm Tony Kovaleski. Shannon? He is very serious. Tony, thank you very much.